Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost Maths key skill video on finding the factors of a number. Now when we use the word factor in the English language, we mean something that goes into it. So if I would, oh, I will factor it into my decision, I mean it's something that I will consider as part of that goes into my decision. That's how we use the word factor in English. And in maths, a fact of something is just a number that goes into it. So, for example, if I wanted the facts of 10, I need something that goes into 10. So let's define that a bit more formally. A factor of a number is something I can divide it by to leave no remainder. So this will be clear when we consider these examples. What numbers could you divide 10 by to leave no remainder? Well, if I divided 10 by 1, that would give you 10 with no remainder. So therefore, 10 is a factor of 10. Can we divide 10 by 2? Yes, we can. We get 5, don't we? And there's no remainder, so therefore, 5 is also a factor. Can we divide 10 by 3? Well, 3 goes into 10 three times. However, we get a remainder of 1. So 3 is not a factor of 10. Let's just try one more. 10 divided by 4. Can we divide 10 by 4? Well, 4 goes into 10 two times with a remainder of 2. So as a remainder, it's not a factor. Now, the easiest way to list the factors of a number is to do them in pairs. So just think of pairs of numbers that multiply to give 10. So 1 times 10 is 10. So that means 1 and 10 are factors. Now, notice I've left a gap in the middle and I'm gradually going to go inwards in my list. Now, 2 times what gives you 10? Well, it's 2 times 5. So 2 will be a factor and 5 will be a factor. And then we saw that 3 wasn't a factor and 4 wasn't a factor. So we finished. But it's easiest to get the factors in pairs like this. And these are known as factor pairs. Let's try that with 36. What numbers multiply together to give 36? Well, let's try 1 first. 1 is always a factor of any whole number. So it's going to be 1 times what is 36? Well, 1 times 36 is 36. So if 1 is a factor of 36, so is 36. What about 2? The next number up. Is 2 a factor of 36? Yes, you can divide 36 by 2 without any remainder. And 2 times what is 36? Well, it's 2 times 18. So as I say, I'm moving left from here, right from here. So we've got another factor pair. What about 3? Can we divide 36 by 3 to leave no remainder? Yes, I can. And 3 times what is 36? It's 3 times 12. Now, I accidentally didn't leave enough space, but let's try the next one. If I had 4, can you divide 36 by 4? Yes, you can. And 4 goes into 36 9 times, so it's 4 times 9. What about 5? Can you divide 36 by 5? No, you can't. Can you divide 36 by 6? Yes, you can, and it's 6 times 6. Ah, and that's great, and you can see we've met up in the middle. So this strategy of finding your factors in pairs makes it easier to list them all out and to not miss any, because every time you get one factor, you also get another factor as well unless you have the square root of that number.